Grogu's and Gragas. Please welcome to the stage, Wada! On your feet, on your feet, on the feet. Oh, please. Please. No, 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 do it. It doesn't count if you start and then you sit down. Oh, come on, please. Please, please, sit back down. Sit back down. No, fight it a little harder. Fight it a little harder. And now you can sit back down. Oh, he's too kind. He's embarrassing. I hate that kind of thing. I hate it. It's not why I do this. I do it for the money. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to a live taping of the George Lucas talk show in front of a live studio audience in New York City. Now this. <laughs> this used to be commonplace. New York City was lousy with tapings of the George Lucas talk show. <laughs> it was the only place you could see the tapings, and they were not broadcast anywhere else. But this is the first one since February of 2020. <laughs> that is, of course, because uh, George went to uh, oversee construction of the museum, he said, Watto, I'll give you the slot for one month to do whatever you want. Watto did a one-man show. Please. And three days later, the UCB theater was permanently closed. <laughs> this is my way of saying apologies in advance to the fine folks at Caveat. We are probably on the verge of a surge, the likes of which we have never seen. <laughs> Your business will never reopen. It's a cursed show. Has anyone ever been to a taping in person of the George Lucas talk show before? Okay, now clap if you have never been in person at the George Lucas talk show before. Okay, okay. Now, this is the tricky part. There is no chat for you. <laughs> you can do this if you want, but there's no keyboard. It will not affect anything. And if you choose to do the chat out loud, bad for the show. <laughs> so the chat is for the people on the streams. And for you, you sit, you watch, rapt attention, a little laugh maybe. A cheer. A single tear. I was waiting to hear droplets, but I appreciate people choosing to vocalize the emotion. Here's what you got to do tonight. You just got to uh, kick back, enjoy yourself, get some popcorn, get some froze. Uh, and buckle up for, for the, uh, the George Lucas talk show's long-awaited return to the stages of New York City. Let's start the fucking show.
George Lucas. I'm George Lucas, creator of Star Wars. And I'm Watto, the warm up comic slash sidekick slash flying space Jew. That's right. I'm also, for those of you who subscribe to Disney Plus, the streaming service, I'm a star of a hit streaming series now Light and Magic. You're great on that show, George. You're popping harder than the... I don't know. Who's the fucking guy that everyone likes on Stranger Things Vec now? Vecma. Vecma. Yeah. Everyone's favorite heartthrob, Vecma. Yeah. George backstage asked Watto. He said, uh, Watto, how do I make an entrance here? The curtain's here. The stage is here. I do the thing where I run around the crowd. How do I run? And I said, do the whole lap. Right. And George said to Watto, I'll do it and I'll go back around. No, you said like a pinball in a pinball machine. Oh, I did. You're right. And I said, George, you should think exactly like a pinball and bounce against every single surface. And I was watching you and you went, bing, boom, bing, 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 That's bing, right. Bing, 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 bing. Would you say that I made quite an impact? You did. Uh, it's interesting because I was reading the trades. Uh, reading the tray. Uh, Nate Borgazzi finally getting his due on the front cover of Variety. Do you, re do you, you, follow, you read the trades, don't you, Otto? Of course I do. Yeah. Uh, well, here's a headline for you. Go to page 28 of the July 20th issue of Variety. I can't. You're okay. holding the issue. All right. <laughs> Mirthmakers light up funniest list of the year. What? Mirthmakers. The funny high-impact comedians of 2022? From talent... To agents and execs. Oh, those must those be some mirth funny makers. agents. <laughs> I can't even imagine those steel memos. These these were some of the most impactful voices during a transformative year for comedy. Okay, let's run. Let's, let's speed around. Uh, it's Just too it's too long list. There's Apatow, Buyer, Daniels, Handler, uh, Leon. Just pick some random people. Yeah, uh, uh, Gabriel Iglesias. Okay, of course, Fluffy. <laughs> Uh, uh, Joe Porton, Joe Wiseman, oh, Sam Richardson, friend yes. of the show, Ben Schwartz, friend of the show. Yes. But then in one of these, we get a mention. And it's weird. It's a typo. Okay. Uh, but they do mention the George Lucas talk show. Both in variety. In variety. The words, the George Lucas talk show are here. Buffo. It says both live and streaming on the Planet Scum live channel on Twitch. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Uh, but it's impact, you know. There it is. <laughs> So I'm sorry, to clarify. Yeah. That was in a write-up about Watto? Uh, no, no, they didn't mention you, Watto. What? You weren't, but the show. They mentioned Portman and Weiss. Yes. Ghosts, CBS Ghosts is enough to make variety, but Watto's been out there pounding the pavement since 99. That's right. But as the, as the show being mentioned means you're one of the mirth makers that lit up this the funniest list of the year. Look, I don't want to sound ungrateful. I love making mirth. You know this. It's one uh, of my it, to make mirth, I mean, who would want to make anything else? Once you start making mirth, I mean, the only thing better than making mirth is taking mirth. That's true. What about what about making love? Oh, making love? Yub nub. Yub nub making love. Yeah, yub nub making love. We should clarify, in the Ewok language, making love is not anything dirty. No. It's making like, it's sort of a paste of berries and leaves. Yeah. You yeah. call it love. Yeah, it's love. You make love. 
Yeah. You're nothing sexual. Right. Now, if you make nub... That's fucking. That's nasty. That's, and that's, that's like dirty fucking. Yeah. You're not making love. You're fucking. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Nub is, nub is nasty. If you're making nub with someone, you yeah. have to sign an NDA in advance. Yeah. That's like some army hammer shit, making nub. Yeah. We don't yeah. come back from making nub. Making love is good. It's a, it's a snack. It's healthy. It's nutritious. <laughs> it's, it's also delicious. It's delicious. Although some would argue that to make nub is also delicious. I mean, the, but it, it, anyone who says that, they're nasty. They nasty. They're they're mass Vecna. That's what they are. Oh, Vecna. Kids but, can't stop talking about, about Vecna. They'd be running up that hill. Be running up that room. Be running up that building. We owe. Kids be running up that. Is that a song about debt? Running up debt hill. Well, yeah, running up debt hill, running up debt building. We owe. Yeah. If I only could, I'd make a deal with God to pay off my student loans. Right. It's a song about the death of the American gene. Oh, my goodness. Running up debt. Yeah. Um, I think we should bring the guests out, Wada. We've got a fantastic well, lineup. Well, first of all, hold oh. on. Can I get some wine on stage? Can oh. I get this up in your blood? Oh, this guy. I don't have any cash on me, so I, I'm not going to tip you. Oh, yeah, this is uh, for New Yorkers. Uh, this will be an unfamiliar sight. Patrick yeah. Connor on the stage, yeah. obstructing the view of Sorry. A, a significant percentage. Sorry. Oh, my God. Should have got here earlier. Maybe they did. That would, that was a great view, that Patrick. Was, that was, they paid extra for those. Uh -huh. Patrick, huh? Patrick, move away just for a second. Where? So, Backstage. Literally anywhere but where you are. Now look at the view that they have. Oh, look at that. Hello. Enjoy it, savor Hello. it. It's the last look you'll see of me. Goodbye. Contact. I can make eye contact. If and you guys can't just... hear anything or want anything explained, you didn't see it, just like tap me and I'll I'll tell you what happened. Patrick. Yeah. Uh -huh. What? Uh-huh. Patrick. Uh-huh. For the love of God. <laughs> for the love of God. <laughs> do not fart tonight. <laughs> There are people sitting right behind your pushy. Yeah. You may find it hard to resist. Mm -hmm. You may even think it would be a little funny, you I cheeky mean, fuck. Can you deny that it would not be a little funny? It would be a little funny. Yeah. Wow. I agree. Yes. Wow, but Patrick. They would have to smell your stinky tooth. I know. Patrick, first show, and you have, you have legitimately lowered the tone of this whole enterprise. <laughs> This is not the kind of mirth that Variety takes notice of. We make mirth here. We don't make farts. I th I'm technically included in that. No, you're not. Not even a little bit. Not even uh, a little bit. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And by the way, yeah. I mean, they're, they're calling out executives, producers. Yeah, they could have named you. <laughs> if they thought you were a funny producer, they would have said it. They said, this producer, dead serious. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't mention you, Patrick. They, did. they mentioned me. Toy My name's George Lucas. They Toy mentioned toys. Fluffy. <laughs> That's the one that hurts. You should be fluffier, Patrick. That's the one that... You should get fluffier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see, see you in 2023, everybody. Patrick, enough about you. We have great guests tonight. <laughs> Why are you taking up this time from the guests? Yeah, this is time the guests can't get back, Patrick. Keep that in mind. These are two high-impact mirth makers we have on the show tonight. <laughs> yes. I don't want to call our shot, but get out your mirth baskets. Yeah. If you Did you get those at the door? They should have been them handing them out. above your head. Because you might want to catch some mirth. It could be like fly balls. Mirth. <laughs> mirth. <laughs> mirth. <laughs> Gurgles and Gurgles, please welcome to the stage, David Bamons and Martin Luka! Yeah! Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We're doing it. We're doing it. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, how, how are you feeling? Okay, not bad. Not bad? Not bad. Excellent. Excellent! Uh-huh. Thank you. She was looking at me. 
Don't take credit for it. <laughs> you, she just showed up like 45 minutes ago. If her day was good, it wasn't because <laughs> of you. <laughs> She's living a whole damn life. What did you do today? Oh my God, I slept and I watched TV. Patrick had nothing to do with that. either of those can't activities. Top that. I, I looked on the internet and read all about you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Making mirth. Did you discover anything interesting about us? I did. What? Mm. what? Well, share, please. Patrick and I were born in the same place. God. In Whoa. Hartford, Connecticut. Yes. Hartford, oh. Connecticut. Now let's have this. Who knew? Hartford Hospital? Yes. Do you know what room? Yes. <laughs> Do you know what doctor? What, what's his name? Oh. Dr. Chaya. Dr. Wood. Patrick. Oh. Patrick. Oh. Patrick. Oh. We have to address what just happened. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> Patrick, is your mommy here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They both are. Mommy and Daddy both Mommy here? Mommy and Daddy are both here. There's a little Julie Jamboree happening here tonight. Yeah. Here's a question. <laughs> Raise your hand if your name is Julie. Ooh. We got one. We got a strong one. Julie Kotner, I'm afraid to tell you, this is in fact not the Julie Jamboree. <laughs> I was assuming there would be at least one other, but it's just you. Now, Patrick, I have to say, mm. Don't make this show all about you. Don't make it. We got guests on stage. That was masterful, the way you manipulated everything. Because we, we could not ask. You yeah. turned, you broke the fourth wall. Yeah. You turned out, you said, where was I born? <laughs> I, we've been doing this show, George, you've been doing this show now for seven years? Eight. Eight. Yeah. Watto's been doing it with you for five. That's right. Because uh, George R. moved to LA to write on TBS is wrecked. That's right. <laughs> what well, jumped into that slot? <laughs> like, like two shows ago. Right. Two shows ago. We've been doing this five and eight years respectively. Two shows ago, Patrick to us backstage goes, hey guys, remember to talk to the guests. <laughs> like we don't fucking know the format of the George Lucas talk show. This fucking guy over here. Suddenly, this show's about where he was born? Where were you born, David? Um, I, was, I was born in a hospital in Manhattan. Yeah! Lenox, right. Lenox Hill Hospital. All right. I'm a real New Yorker. Born in <laughs> Lenox. Yeah. Now, what's the longest period you've spent away from New York City? Uh, ooh, 15 years. I mean, I came back and forth, but mostly, right. yeah, 15 years. I lived in Los Angeles. So for a solid 15-year stretch? Correct. And Numb Three Years, that was filmed out in, in Los Angeles, right? <laughs> I, I, I know what happens when you put numbers in the title. My first movie, my first movie was THX 1138. We didn't call it THX 11E8. <laughs> um... That was a creative decision that had nothing right. to do with me. Uh, right. I know, but and, uh, you were one of the stars of the show. And the with, checks cleared, well, I, I, was, I, I, I was one of the... I was the, with, I was the star you. of the show. <laughs> well, no. The other guy was... Well, yeah. he's in the FBI. Your character's a math genius. Yeah. It's between the two I was of you, the focal character. Yes, without yeah. you, it would just be an ordinary FBI show. With you, math is involved. Yeah, that's right. And it is a math show. I don't think... Yeah. I'm going to say this right here. I don't think of it as an FBI show. Thanks. Someone says, Num three years, is that an FBI show? I go, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Police three about... years never would have gotten the pickup. Police three years. <laughs> a show called Police Three Years. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm imagining yeah. a show <laughs> about police or... that had a three in the title, but would no it, math yeah. in the plot. No. Right. Or if the show Cops, instead of having an S, <laughs> had a number five at the end. <laughs> Cop Five. Then we'd call it Cop Five, and it would have been a big hit if you'd been on that show. We would have been watching the show saying, where's Crumholtz? We want, every week we're watching Cop Five saying, someone's got to do arithmetic. Where it is, it was not living up to its promise. Patrick, um, I agree. Yeah, where I, you, let's 
where where, where, where are your parents They're born? Right where were they born? Were they, uh, where were they born? You were born in Hartford, right? My dad was in Hartford. You were Newton, Mass. All right. I'm just um, trying to get back at you for this whole right. number three. You don't want to. You don't want to. By making talk. it about Patrick and now making it about his parents. You got yeah. to give him credit. He knows how to hit us where it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing we hate more than right. the show becoming about Patrick. But it, if you think we're done talking about number threeers, you are sadly mistaken. <laughs> Because you were great on that show. Yeah. You were. You were. <laughs> Three cheers for number threeers. Keep going. Um, thank you. That's very nice. I, yeah. People, uh, you know, that was, uh, I was brutally judged, uh, mercilessly judged for that show. By whom? By comedy writers. What? Nope. Yeah. No. I, I met all these comedy writers that were like, you went and did a crime drama, huh? They obviously didn't watch it. And they were like, I tried to get you on my uh, multicam sitcom, and uh, it failed because you weren't on it. <laughs> and then I told them that I've done eight multicam sitcoms that have failed because I was on it. Um, but there you are, look, numbers, eight of them. Like, you're, uh, yeah. you can't stop. Yeah, no, it's, that's how my mind works. You throw yeah. numbers, these comedy writers are coming at you with their broken dreams, you're just throwing more numbers at them. Yeah. I did eight shows that failed. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. But that was a show, unlike all of the other CBS procedurals that were on at that time, that had... Uh, I thought it had rich uh, supporting and recurring characters. I can't believe we're talking about numbers. All right. Yeah, a very rich supporting character. I don't. On that I show. don't believe Num Three Years is streaming on, uh, on any of the services. Not anymore. Right now. No. But I think that's one of those shows that if it shows up on one of the streamers, people are going to really or stream Three Years. Uh, people are going to really uh, rediscover. I think it's a show that is a really because you have a lot of episodes. Mm-hmm. Hundred eighteen. And it's. You can enjoy them self. Another number. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you can enjoy standalone episodes, but it rewards uh, following along because there is like there are character arcs. Yeah. Characters go up into space. That's correct. David, a character goes up into space for a while. Dave, you saying I can't believe we're talking about num three years. I want you to know, I I want to truly cannot count the number of the times num three year when. The num three years of times, yes. What I truly cannot count the num three years of times. When we were doing the show monthly at the UCB theater, Watto would show up, George would be there making a chit chat with the guests before we went on stage, and he would be talking about num three years of time. And they had no association with the show. What, yeah. what George just said about, oh, it works as standalones, but there's an arc that rewards if you want. Wado has heard George say that to like. Yeah. We did not have just heard 7, that. 7,000 times. I've heard him yeah. say to like fashion designers. <laughs> I've heard them say it to actors who never were on the show, musicians, astronauts. Yeah. <laughs> but there, but that's also, I don't want you to think I only obsess about that show because don't get me started about The Leftovers. Well. Mm. Oh. Or, or the, left, the Left of Three Years. <laughs> <laughs> or 30 Rock. That's oh, right. Mm -hmm. Which could also be EO Rock, which is a George Lucas reference, although it stars Michael Jackson, so maybe we don't want to go there. Yeah. yeah. One episode of Spin City? What are you doing? Is that not true? <laughs> what, That's what not true? This says you played Doggy Daycare in one episode of Spin City. Oh my God, I've forgotten. Wow. <laughs> Uncovered memory. Your character's name was Doggy Daycare? No, I was the head of... The dog. Oh, All right, we'll well, fix Patrick, it. submit an edit. I'll do it right now. Isn't that can we bring my screen up on screen so people can watch me do this? Yeah. Wow, I yeah. forgot. Well, anyway, yeah. but uh, you uh, and I don't remember because you were on the stream. Uh, I don't remember how much I geeked out about the leftovers on the stream, but truly, truly one of the most powerful works of art, and I feel like predicted. Uh, the way that society, if you change one thing, will just crumble and people will uh, fall into factions. Like it really, for people who uh, watched The Leftovers during the pandemic. Oh no. Yeah. 
Uh, but you also, you played a character that you had a, a beautiful musical cue named after your character, I believe, right? On the leftovers? I'm uh, not I think sure. So. What, I think so. Uh, you think so? I'm sure you're right. Uh, Mr. Lucas, I admire you, so you, you are always right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So, uh, as an actor... What's your, favorite, what's your favorite George Lucas production? Do you like it? Do you like the Indiana Joneses? I've always, yes. I, I, I got some of these treasures. Got some new <gasps> artifacts yeah. on the desk. Oh, my God. That. Isn't that fun? They just made these. It lights up. You like that, Dave? <laughs> yeah. That's incredible. What is that? Oh, the crystal skull. Yeah. Oh, that's your favorite? The kingdom of the crystal skull, yeah. The titular roll. Thank Pretty you. Good. Can I grab it? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Pretty good. Okay, that's Knowledge! Yeah. Yeah. George, we have another new friend on the desk we should maybe shout out quickly. It's a little bit of a quid pro quo. Oh, that's right. Uh, for those of you uh, who uh, were following the saga, this is the first New York live show we've done a long... In, Almost, you know, almost the full run of the show, we had the Seth Meyers pillow uh, that I stole from uh, South by Southwest. The <laughs> Seth by Southwest. No, Seth has it. We gave it back to him. Uh, and we gave him a little uh, George Lucas nesting doll and a little Belushi bee nesting doll. And if you watch Late Night with Seth Meyers now, they're just on the desk with him. Right. The terms were, he agreed, if we raised, if we raised $40,000 for abortion thon, funds in that one stream, yeah. that he'd put them on the desk for a week. And they've been there for over a month now. Right. And, and he's off for the next month. And what? He's off for the next month, so I have to assume. They might just... Here's what I'll say, here's what I'll say. No one tag him in tweets about this. No, don't, don't bring attention to it. Let's just see how long it goes for. There's been for. a little George Lucas and a little Belushi be on the desk for the last two months. Yeah, and, it, and I think that's awesome. Congratulations yeah. on all your success. Thank you. <laughs> you guys seem really proud of yourselves. But... By the way, we've reappropriated Whoa. Belushi be as one of our characters. That's a win for us. Yeah, but we have a little... A dead man dressed as a bee on your desk. Let's yeah. go. I'm sure that's how he would have liked to have been honored. Well, no, John Belushi is dead, but I believe Belushi B will live forever. <laughs> this, is a, this is not the same as the, the notorious wild party animal John Belushi. This is Belushi B. He's a bee. Remember when Saturday Night Live used to have all the, all the cast members dressed up as bees and they'd do sketches? Put it back over there. <laughs> But the other thing no, with Belushi no. Put it back over to He's where it is. Very put, it, oh. put it back over there. Oh, you like to sting, but you don't like when the when the sting comes close to you, do you? No, no. Buzz buzz, huh? What I loved about Belushi B was when he could get one of his antennas to work mm -hmm. and the other one didn't move. Mm -hmm. It was brilliant. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, this is a Seth Meyers uh, the awesomes uh, action figure. So we now we have uh, a little Seth Meyers presence on this on the set. Max, can we put this on or no? Sorry. I just want, I'm, I'm updating your IMDb. Oh, oh wow. no. And I, well, want yes, everyone to, I want everyone to see. Don't do anything crazy, man. No, no, no. I'm doing okay. Yeah, doing okay. Uh, David, is there anything you'd like done to your IMDb? <laughs> Short um, of updating it? <laughs> uh, no, I, 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 uh, I'm happy with the photo. Um, <laughs> my uh, known for credits my known for movies uh -huh. top are, are i just changed those last week i i i edit my see own what you got. Uh, don't let's, oh no let's see what you got no what do you want to be known for unnecessary i want to see what you want this is where they get you though is they go is i mean, we can't do anything about it unless you pay for pro yeah they make you pay for pro to be able to curate to, to, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, you gotta it's, pay for pro yeah so i see I see two of your titles you want to be known for are yet to be released. Yeah, that's right. Well, he's, right? A, he's a forward-thinking man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I relate. I always look to the future. Yeah, I'm, I, got, I got shit coming out. Oppenheimer. I saw the trailer for this. Hey, now. Yeah. Oppenheimer. And not, and not easy to get cast in that movie. It only has 87 of Hollywood's <laughs> biggest actors. Yeah, um... Well, it wasn't. It was. It, it wasn't hard either. I mean, um, I'm David Crumholtz. Well, yeah, yeah. Woo! 
Did you audition, Watto? I, I, oh, I read. I don't do well in self tapes. The pandemic's been tough for Watto's acting. I don't do well in self tapes. Are, like are you allowed argument. to say who you play? In no, a, well, no. I don't care. I guess so. Is it on I guess IMDb? I can. Let's find out. Uh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. No. Um, wow. I play the guy who create, who discovered magnetic resonance. So all your MRI machines are because of this dude, and he was Oppenheimer's uh, best friend. Wow. So, um, yeah, his name is Isaac Robbie. Uh, Isidore Robbie. Isaac Robbie. Ma- everyone clearly yeah. knows who that is, and uh, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> uh, I hope that it. I hope I don't get cut out of the movie. I'm pretty sure. You're his best friend. I, I'm. Yeah, but 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 the, it's scissor bait. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, do we want to watch images of uh, of mass explosions and you know planets blowing apart, or do we want to watch Crumble drone on about how? Well, I care hey, about you. Hey, it's, David. It's not. David. Yeah. yeah. You funny in it? Am I funny in it? Yeah. No. You're not his funny friend. No, I'm not you, his. You're funny. not like the. You're not like the Rosie. Oppenheimer's like Rosie O'Donnell, like in League of Their Own. Come on, don't don't make that bomb. Uh, in League of Their Own or the Flintstones movie? <laughs> no, uh, no, no, I'm not funny in it. All right, uh, I, I'm sorry. The okay. I'm, what uh, kind of what kind of what kind of because here like friendship is important. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You have a best friend. Do I have a best friend? Yeah. yeah. You have sure. one. Is there one you would identify? I have two. Name them. Sean, Sean and John. Sean and John. Sean John. Sean John. Sean John. Sean John. Sean John. Yeah. Is, was rhyming important? Sean doesn't rhyme with John. Sean rhymes with John. Sean John. Maybe Sean John. in your weird Midwest. Sean John. Sean and John. I Sean John. Yeah. Sean John. Sean John. Sean John. I Sean John. John. I Sean John. Sean John. Sean John. John. Sean John. It rhymes. Sean John. What? So rhyming wasn't important because you don't believe in it. He's like. No, I don't. I don't. I didn't care. They're nice people. That's what I. I cared about. Marceline, do you feel like you have one best friend, or is there a tapestry in front of your friendship? Well, for best, there's one. Ooh, name him. Ren- Don. Fuck. <laughs> His name is Randy. Oh. His name is Randy. Is it? It's not Quaid, is it? How did you know? Oh, <laughs> oh no. no, it's not. It's not. Randy. Randy. Is he alive? Yes. <laughs> I was hoping it was the Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> what a <laughs> what a swing, though. If he wasn't, yeah. What? Hey, he I, has, he I, has I, a sw- I, I, I let you down. Are Sean and John both alive? Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. I don't want to uh, uh, pull us too far afield. <laughs> yeah, no. Do people remember how Macho Man Randy Savage died? Let's talk about yeah. it. Yeah. Let's get into it. It's why he was driving his car and he had a heart attack. He had he died of a car crash, but the car crash happened because he had a heart attack. Ooh, right. And he couldn't get treated because he was operating a motor vehicle. Right, right, right. It just it, heart attack, swerve, crash. I was in a car crash when I was young. I, I, I crashed my car once because there was a bee in it and it freaked me out. I, I got scared of the bee. Not, no, not that. That explains it. explains it. It's all right. It's That's all okay. coming together. Wow. No. Um, and yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. People, people die for a lot of different reasons. <laughs> so true. Yeah. 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 So Oppenheimer's number two. Uh, Oppenheimer's else? number two. Oh, Wait, God. Well, that's if you're, if you're going left to right. I don't oh. think they're ranked. I should change it. I don't like it. What, what would you change it to? Uh, I did a show that I wrote that I, oh, I should put Gigi. up. But no one knows it. Let's get so Gigi it's hard up there. to say well, that's why you known put for. It there. That's why you want sure. to yeah, yeah, yeah. See, no one knows it at all. <laughs> now the White House plumbers. The only thing I've ever created that got It's an IFC and, original. Yeah. Oh, well. Anybody Always on, slightly off. Yeah. Yeah. It's Gee. off permanently now. That that network so. is right. off the so. air. Right. Yeah, I think so. We were about... we were the last season of, uh, of of that of that whole network. Wow. <laughs> I hear yeah. their adopt the comic program is going well though. <laughs> it's a joke for four people in the crowd. 
Now, the White House Plumber, oh, yeah. this is a series that's coming out. <laughs> yeah. I bet they saw a lot of actors for that. Yeah. <laughs> I bet I don't know. They, they, how'd it work? Do you get a straight offer, or did you have to, did they send you sides? I, I, uh, I got, I got a straight off. Yeah. Offer only, offer only, offer only. Now this is the question. Jesus. Yeah. Our, our, we ask all our guests this. Yes. Don't think you're off the hook. You're I'm ready. Next. I'm ready. Are you predominantly, exclusively, or rarely offer only? And there's no judgment. Uh, We're just rarely. 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 Yes, okay. rarely. 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 You like to read. <laughs> I love I love to self tape. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So much fun. Isn't it great when the pandemic started and every single casting director decided, what if I don't do any work? What if it's all on you now? Do the lighting. Yes. <laughs> Get someone to read with and you. By the way, we're going to judge you on those things. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And be we good. watch your self tape and go. What's this shitty apartment? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the mic is on. <laughs> I can't hear you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. 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 Uh, Marceline, I'm just going to update this really quick. You're now owner of the doggy daycare, and oh. the explanation is she just fucking told me. <laughs> <laughs> Can we look at Marceline's <laughs> best known film? Yes, hang yeah, on one second. Yes. Submit. How is, are we, I'm satisfied with you kids are being to me uh, today. Uh, uh, neutral. Okay. <laughs> uh, you want to take, take the daycare. survey, Patrick? I don't want to take the was survey. It's a two right minute survey. I can't do it. <laughs> Patrick, when we get to the end of if you, if you okay, change anything else, I'll take, another take survey. the survey. Okay. okay? They, that's right. how they make it better. So I we got know. one that we've already talked to Marceline about, which is Working Girl where you danced with good old Han Solo himself. I got to say, this is a fucking killer film. It's a really good top four. You have four Academy Award nominated movies <laughs> in, your, in your best known film. But what I do notice yeah. is that unlike David, I do not have all the post-production stuff. I have not gone, I do not, I'm not on pro. Sure. I've not right. put all the latest things that are I shouldn't brewing. Have done well, you have it's easy for doing it. No, I no. shouldn't have done no, it. No, but no. you do have one self credit. I wonder what that is. Hang on. Oh, it's the George Actually, Lucas talk I show. Do hey. Oh, interesting. Look at that. Hey, <laughs> one self. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. If you, what would you shift around if you if you could shift around your known for? Is there anything <laughs> you're like I got to put that known for up there? Well, there's something coming out that Let's I would like it. to be Let's known. Plug it. Uh, Go for it. Don't be for afraid. For Black Mirror. Ooh. Whoa! The new Black Mirror with. Wow. Uh, so I'm very excited about Kristen that. Kristen Ritter, is that right? Well, it's Aaron Paul and oh. Kate Mara are oh. in. Oh. 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 Okay. I can say that because it's publicly known. Okay. Right. Cool. So, so that'll be exciting when that comes Technology out. does you wrong in some way. Something got complicated with the new equipment. Or are you the technology that does wrong? Oh, that's yeah. right. I what? am what? a bookseller, so oh. I'm in the old oh. world. The, old the oldest form of technology. The oldest Whoa. form of technology. That's right. Anal to which you I sell pitched. analog e-books. <laughs> I, p I pitched that all the episodes going forward, all characters should have to go through the bookstore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you think? Mm -hmm. That's right. It, it sounds like it could be a backdoor pilot. You know, from the creators of they're Black Mirror. To they're say all that. The bookstore. <laughs> what? I don't think you're allowed to use that uh, terminology anymore. Backdoor pilot? Yeah, I don't think that. I think that. I think that's. <laughs> David, <laughs> David, David. <laughs> You're, talk Wait, you're talking to George Lucas. I'm sorry. First of all, I don't like dirty comedy. Oh. <laughs> I don't like it. They made a porno of Star Wars. I was furious. Don't you dare make nub on this stage. Yeah. It's not that kind of show. Sorry. L listen, back door is a term that's going to be, people are going to need to use it. Buildings have front doors. They have emergency exits. They have back doors. We cannot cede this lingual territory. Mm -hmm. A safety protocol. Yeah. Okay. You need to be able to refer to the back door without everyone automatically assuming it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and backdoor pilots are very important. We wouldn't have CSI Miami without that. Yeah, I, what? Imagine the world. Imagine without the world. this CSI. The CSI, the people, they're in Las Vegas. They go, want to take a trip to Miami. They go, I could never. <laughs> It'll never happen. I don't see it in my future. What a narrative dead end. <laughs> and yet? And yet. 
David, I have a courier question for you. Yes, Wado. Yes? You appeared in a David Dobkin film entitled The Judge. Mm. What the fuck is that? <laughs> David? David? What the David? fuck is that? David? This is, this is what this show is. This Got is all, what man. this show is. <laughs> And I'm not looking at no screen. This is no. off the dome. This is a question I've yeah. been sitting on for years. Yeah. <laughs> In that motion picture. Yes. Two-time Academy Award nominee Robert Downey Jr. urinates on you. Correct. <laughs> My question is, is he a method actor? <laughs> uh... No. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, but uh, I am. <laughs> and so uh, the closest thing that <laughs> I could do to him actually pissing on me was um, piss on myself. So <laughs> I, had pee I had peed myself. Uh, no. 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 Sorry. Water. No. That, that's a fair question. It's a wow, process please. question. Water. You think James Lipton would not ask that? <laughs> uh, uh, James Lipton's dead, too? He dead? <laughs> All the more reason he would ask it now. Yeah, I'll say right? this. Also, it was like January 2020. When did Lipton go? He got out like right in time. He got out all the good things. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. That is awful. Anyway, there's a scene in The Judge where Robert Downey Jr. pees on you. Yeah. I, yeah. Whoa, March yeah, 2nd, yeah. 2020. Yeah. Right in time. Wow. But he never got to see what about me, and that is <laughs> the tragedy. <laughs> I see your toes. <laughs> oh, no. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Hang on, George, what is that? Someone just gave me some uh, garbage to destroy. <laughs> oh, George. Oh, oh no. Oh, George. Hold and those on. are, I, right I rarely now. see these covers. This <laughs> these are like, nice ones. These are rare. Oh. What are you going to do with them? <sighs> do you want to explain it, Wano? Yeah, okay. Uh -oh. So this is the thing. Artists, we all have our process. Mm -hmm. right? True. Yeah. True. And mm -hmm. it's really difficult when people see your work before it's finished. Mm -hmm. Sure. When they observe it in a developmental stage. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. George made some movies. <laughs> wow. That leaked out in test screenings in the 70s and 80s. Mm. They casually made hundreds of millions of dollars, but they weren't finished. Right, right. The movies were not finished until 2020. Yeah. When the McClunky cuts were locked. I think it was 2019. So anytime yeah. George gets his hands on physical copies oh, of the it. test print versions of the sequel trilogy, <laughs> <laughs> he has no choice but to destroy them. I have no issues with the box art. Keep the box art. The box art, box art cool. will be fine. For those of you who are worried that these beautiful boxes are going to be destroyed. Do we want to give them to somebody? Yeah, absolutely. Who wants them? Yeah. Can I throw yeah. them? I don't yeah. Everybody right, throw I'm them. just going to throw them. Yeah. You ready? Here we go. Hang on. I took someone's yeah. view. Yeah, let's put this over here. View. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah. Someone. David, let's have this one. Hang on. Okay. I got it. Who? Who? You? There you go. Yeah. Woo! That I, I didn't hurt anybody, did I? I, I kind of violently threw it towards you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Marceline, what's it like working on Marvelous Mrs. Maisel? They're such a great cr group of people. Right. They're, they're creative. They're funny. They're silly. Wow. They're Jew face on that show. Yeah, well, let's talk about it. <laughs> Why don't you know something about that? I know something about it. I've been meaning to ask you forever. Did you read for Watto? Because it felt like, well, I read for Adam's Family Values, and it felt like <laughs> there was a period of time where we were in the same audition rooms over and over again. Um, no, but I, 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 did, I almost got Watto. Offer? <laughs> well, I do the impression almost uh, as good as you do. <laughs> wow. 
Man, come back here. Uh, I have your... Uh, <laughs> please, uh, give me as much money as humanly possible. Uh, uh, don't like taxes. <laughs> Taxi star uh, Judd uh, Hirsch, who is also very much what I was modeled after in terms of the nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why, I feel like you don't get called out this much. <laughs> called out? What you, this is a kinship. <laughs> Finally, someone I can relate oh to on Here this we go. fucking show. All right, let's just pass it around the theater. Just pass it back. Let's see how far we can go. It's all just... We're all like, let's all participate in this together. We're probably not even into the crawl yet, so we got a while, I think. Now... Is there, there a lot of uh, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is practical, but there are some digital effects on that show. When, when you were filming on it, was there any stuff that they were like replacing later with? Uh... Uh, no, I, ours was, when I, my involvement was pretty straightforward. We were matchmakers and I was Irish. I was not Jewish. You were Irish. I good. was Irish. Okay, good. Good, good. <laughs> no stolen valor on this. <laughs> You know, the Irish can be pretty tough, too. But, uh... David, you ever play an Irish character? <laughs> Do I look like I've played an Irish character? <laughs> I'm no. at answer the question. You ever play a character as Irish heritage? Uh, no, unfortunately, no. Would you? Hell yeah. You'd love to. Yeah. Should we go through what are the ones you would play? <laughs> yeah. That's a great okay. idea. What are, the, what are the ones you would play? <laughs> Um, like like ones that have been done already. You do that whatever I you want. Could have put, really. Yeah. Well, well, Irishman of cinema. I Latvian. Can, I can do Would an Irish Latvian? accent. Would you have played the Irishman if given Ooh. the chance? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. What is this? Oh, I'll hold it. Okay. Great. We don't have to do this game. No, let's not do this. <laughs> I just thought it was. Trouble. I thought it would be a one. funny thing to Marceline, say. Marceline, you played the matchmaker. I did. Was the match made? It was. Oh, yeah. Most of them off camera, but they were made. Oh, Do you yeah. get residuals for that? Like additional beyond the actual episodes for making the match, the longer the match sticks? <laughs> it was all for love, uh -huh. Lotto. It was uh -huh. all for love. No money involved. This is I a good question. We've, what we've never, saying. <laughs> Wanda, we've never asked this question. What is the thing that you guys get residuals for the most? Good question. We've never asked this, and this feels prime, like such an us question. Prime time television. Okay. I, is there like yeah. is Earth very... Rock the biggest? What 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 is like the it single project that sort of continues to pay out for you? Well, they eventually dwindle even 30 Rock. Sure. But, yeah. Yeah. but yeah, no, 30 Rock was an honest paycheck. Yeah. How, how many episodes did you do in total? Just 12. That's that, a, that's that a is good amount. I would have guessed much higher. Your no, impact on that show is very great. Oh, that's yeah. very sweet. Well, I, it was one of the most fun things because the writers would... S s nothing. N there's nothing that Kathy Geis wouldn't do. Yeah. yeah. So... Anything the writers came up with. And they were always very polite. And they would say, well, do you think she would eat flowers? <laughs> and I would look at them and say, yes. No, and then never... they would say, do you think she doesn't know how to open the bathroom door? <laughs> I'd say, she absolutely, of course, yes. She does not know how to open the bathroom door. Now, we've never talked about this, but at... Don, your father, Don Geis's funeral, he is encased in carbonite like Han Solo. Very funny, Jim. Which is an homage, That's of right. course. Yeah. Yes, wow. absolutely. A lot, of good, a lot of good Star Wars jokes on 30 Rock. Mm -hmm. De definitely. She dresses up as Princess Leia to avoid jury duty. Carrie Fisher. <laughs> That's right. Carrie Fisher's got some good ones. Rose. Hey, uh, bring up my IMDb and look at my what I'm known for. Yeah, sure. <laughs> right? All right. Couple indies. Couple Don, indies. Your father, Don Geis's funeral. What whoa, is happening? Whoa, what, what are you watching? Whoa. Wait a second. Whoa, hey, whoa, Patrick, whoa. are you watching Patrick. the show while the show I, happens? I am watching you the show. Fucking <laughs> narcissist. I do have the show going. Uh, this is why see. Variety will never put you on the Mercury. There we go. List. All right, known for. Wow. I mean, the big four. Star Wars, writer, 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 writer. Well known writer. Uh huh. 
Uh, when you think George Lucas, you think oh, the writing comes first. Your, your IMDb photo should be you with a quill in hand, <laughs> dipping into the ink pot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, look at your first photo, though. Yeah, that's me. That's me acting. Uh, look at that. Holding hands. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you ever see Beverly Hills Cop Three? Uh, yeah. Did you like it? No. <laughs> Why not? It's, oh, did you you wrote that? No, I was in it. Look. Oh, after. Man, that high note's hard, and, right? <laughs> um, but you didn't. You like the first one? Yes, of course. You like the second one? The second one is the best, in my opinion. Really? Oh, oh God, you're like an Irvin Kirshner head. <laughs> That's why I call people who like the second movies of series is the best. Uh, Not that Irvin Kershner did Beverly Hills Cop 2. No, he did uh, the, the Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, Batman. which is really the fifth movie. Right. Yeah. That's so confusing. That's always so confusing, George. Life is confusing, would you agree? Yes, yes. I mean, Leftovers, where'd they go? Right? They went into one of your movies. Oh, oh would that be great if that Wouldn't was that a be twist? Great? Where'd Wouldn't they all go? Be? They're watching a George Lucas movie <laughs> for with, this long? They're with Darth Vader. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. So the Beverly Hills Cop 3, you didn't like it because why? Not as good as the others? Or you like, didn't like it because it was better? Um, is that the one where the villain has a mole in the middle of his head? That's the, the actor that they cast had a strange growth. A cyst. That's sort of a blonde guy? Yeah, no, he's no. bald and he's got like a cyst. Oh. That bothered me. But what about when they go to the amusement park and Axel Foley uh, gets on a ride ahead of a, a person who's there with a, a woman he's dating? It cuts the line. Cuts the line. Uh. And then the guy in the line goes, hey. <laughs> and, and it's then, you. Well, it's me playing a character. Oh, OK. Yeah. It's not what I'm known for. I'm known for writing Star Wars. Bring it back up again, Patrick. Show what I'm known for. I'm known for writing Star Wars. I'm known for writing THX 11E8. And I'm known for American Graffiti and for Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Cool. That was, yeah. You like those? Yeah. Yeah. Well, because Indiana Jones is kind of like your character in Numb Three Years in the sense that he's an academic. Right. He's but a he professor. also, yeah. Yeah. But, but he also kicks ass. Yeah, he hates Nazis. Right. Right? Yeah. That was not explicitly part of the plot on Numb, Numb Three Years. But no. I have to assume, right? We did an episode about Nazis. Yeah. Yeah. But like Indiana Jones, we do episodes about Nazis all the time. Right. So I good. mean, Judd okay. Judd Hirsch I, is kind of the Sean Connery of the show. Yeah. He could. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Know? If we're, if similar we're, similar vibe. If we're similar. doing you know similes yeah. right now, yeah, right. I suppose uh, yeah. uh, Judd Hirsch is like the yeah. Yeah. yeah we yeah. named the dog number. <laughs> Uh, there's no dog, unfortunately. <laughs> yes, but you, if we're doing yeah. similes... If we're doing, doing the dog, <laughs> the dog would be <laughs> named in them three Both of you, cut it out! <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I would, if, I were, if I were still in that aspect of the biz, I would just go ahead and film a Toydarian show where you were just, a toy, just three Toydarians. <laughs> Talking like this all the time. Why, what? The, Why Marceline, not? there's not enough phlegm in your throat. Uh, 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 is that better? Is that better, water? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds I'm, like a character I'm the from the uh, version of you. <laughs> we the swallow dark crystal more. more than you, from, uh, you sound like we have a, less phlegm in our voices. Well, it's a dark crystal, not so much. Uh, I I want uh, George. Yes. Permission to make an executive decision. Oh. Absolutely. Uh oh. I feel like we're losing this section yeah. of the audience who has been forced to look at Patrick's back. Oh, yeah. oh. I thought you were going to say the film. <laughs> well, we're, we're passing around. Yeah, no, but that's good. That's good. Yeah, what do you want? Could you move to the Butter Bear stool? <laughs> okay. Oh, we should check in with Butter Bear. I don't know if I can. Uh, uh, um, Let's I move Butter Bear to the patch. I don't know. I don't, don't know if I but can. But first, I'm gonna I'm gonna let uh, Butter Bear have a say. This is a fun thing we like to do in the in the show, and, and we've done it a few times. It's been real fun. Uh, 
Butterbear was a character uh, from a, a Disney show called The Wuzzles. It's not available on Disney+. Plus. This was an idea that Michael Eisner had when he was running Disney in the 1980s. He said, let's make some new characters. So they created a show about uh, hybrids of, uh, and Butterbear is a butterfly combined with a bear. And uh, so to merchandise this children's uh, TV show, they released a Butterbear AM radio. Because no matter, I don't care what generation you're from, if you're a child, you're listening to AM radio. <laughs> so let's hear what Butterbear has to say. Butterbear. Butterbear blew the Butterbear bit. Do, do you think it's because we're underground? Hold on, hold on. I just need to be more precise. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> That's the one time Butterbear has said something that we all didn't go, eh, afterwards. That's not true. In L.A., Butterbear said, defund the police. Oh, that's true. That's true. I forgot. Yeah, we turned it on in Los Angeles, and Butterbear immediately started talking about the bloated LAPD budget <laughs> and how that money should go to affordable housing. Atlanta, believe it or not, was a little different. <laughs> yeah, I guess it doesn't matter what radio stations are playing in your yeah. area. Now, David, uh huh, you were in a you were in a space movie. You were in Serenity. That's a space movie. Mm. But you're but you're not a bit. Are you? Do you like sci-fi generally? No. Why is it? It just doesn't. It doesn't. It's not something you're interested in. I like the never-ending story, but that's more fantasy than sci-fi. Ooh, sci you like Labyrinth? Do you like Labyrinth? Uh, I like Labyrinth, yeah. That, but that's fantasy. That's not sci-fi. No, no. But I just yeah, said, because you like the dark, you like never-ending story. You mentioned Dark the Crystal dark before. Crystal, yeah. Did you like Labyrinth? I did. I produced Labyrinth. Really? Yeah. Congrats, man. Yeah. <laughs> that movie's wicked, dude. Yeah, it's not what I'm known for. Well, it's a Jim Henson movie, but I yeah. produced it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I helped out. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> Which... Uh, I, 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 I wish Jim Henson was still around, huh? Yeah, that's a great wish. Sometimes yeah. people, sometimes people, I want to, I want to commend you for that because sometimes people waste their wishes. And that's actually one that is like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, not necessarily for now. Like, I think it would be a very bad thing to do to Jim, <laughs> to bring him back now and just be like, well, here's what's been going on. Yeah, he'd probably here's be a what, little upset. Huh? Yeah, here's what. Uh, no, no, no. Let me tell you everything that happened. It's mostly been bad. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I miss him. He's great. He was a genius. I love the Muppets. We yeah. just heard a story about how when George went to the Labyrinth set, he brought Linda Ronstadt with him. Oh. They yeah, were, they we were, were dating. Seeing, we were seeing each other at the time. Oh, you dated Linda Ronstadt? Yeah, did you? <laughs> no. No? Well, I guess we're different. Yeah, I guess we're different, huh? Yeah. Are you a fan? Do you like Linda Ronstadt's music? Um, I know that one song she did with Aaron Neville. I don't know much, but I know I love you. And that may be all I really need to know. Wow, now I am starting to feel like this might be the last show. Because, like, you normally don't get serenaded like that until, like, the talk show is over. <laughs> it feels like, what a way to go out, right? Can I say I've taken over the chat? Yeah, of course. And someone in the chat asked, Wato, do you ever wish that your name was Waforto? <laughs> The other question I got was, Wato, did you have a pastrami today? Now, here's the thing. I couldn't find a good pastrami sandwich anywhere in the neighborhood. Is, is it, Wato. We're here on the Lower East Side. I was searching 
Far and wide, I could not find the pastrami sandwich as if my life depended on it. What's the look? We're pretty, near, I, yeah, we're pretty near a very famous pastrami yeah. place. Delancey? Probably the best pastrami no. in the whole world is a Where, couple Baby boxes. wants candy? Where do they have pastrami <laughs> I, I can give you a clue. What? Because uh, you're a cinema buff. Yes. All right? Yes. I'll see if you get this. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're telling me the locker room from Debbie Does Dallas is in this neighborhood and that they serve pastrami? <laughs> Wado, I don't want to rob you of this opportunity to realize what what you're what you're failing to remember because I know that you love this filmmaker and I know that you love the film that we're referencing. Well, don't make an assumption based on cultural <laughs> and religious background. <laughs> but what what possible oversight could there be? I'll give you another clue. What? It starts out as a question of time. Okay. When? <laughs> and then, what do you do if you're a person who's maybe not so smooth physically? What are you? Harry. <laughs> yeah. And who's a well-known underdog New York City sports team? The Mets. What if there was only one of them? A Met. <laughs> and what if we didn't need the article in front of it? Met. <laughs> And then what syndicated comic strip <laughs> ends with the numeric noun fourth? What? I'm sorry, what? It's a noun, it's a noun that sounds like the word fourth. Oh my God. But the word in front of it is a verb. Together, it makes a woman's name and every day of the week, people who read print newspapers might enjoy the adventures of this intelligent woman and her family. Little Orphan Annie? No, I said a woman. Little Orphan Annie is a girl. There's a, 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 a well-known Eric Clapton song where this person is being told to lay down. Good guy. What a guy. You pervert. No, no, no. I, it's not a dirty song. It's, a, it's Well, it's not a great, it's kind of fucked up actually. <laughs> Um, what if, what if Walter White's <laughs> high school friend and meth partner, Jesse, oh, met, I think, oh. one of the Teenage Mutant oh, Ninja Turtles? No! When Harry met Sally Jesse Raphael! That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Katsis doesn't have pastrami, do they? The delicatessen? That's right. I swear to God, I've scanned that menu up and down. I don't, I think you guys are wrong about this. I don't think they serve pastrami. No? I would have known by now. I, I think we have to look, look it up. Look it up. Uh, while you're doing that, uh, someone gave me, I believe this is a video disc. Of yeah, Star they Wars. have it. Oh no. Wow, a laser oh, disc. No. It's a laser disc, man. Oh. Whoa. oh, everyone's saying no, like they don't want to do it, but I bet... You should step on it. What? Step on it. It's just the same movie. It's just a shiny mirror that has the movie secretly... In, I mean, no. do you know how crazy you sound? You think the movie is in this mirror? <laughs> it's just a round mirror with a little hole in the middle, but everyone's crying because they think there's a movie in it. There's no movie in this anymore. It's probably all dried up by now. Even if there was, it's not a finished movie. It's just a rough draft of a movie. I mean, I'm damaging it just by touching it like this, right? Yeah. <laughs> Patrick, what do you think I should do? Oh, you should step on it. David, what do you think I should do with Whatever this? Whatever you do, don't try to rip it apart with your hands. Because it'll, 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 it'll cut you. Glass, it'll cut like you. Yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah. And, um, oh, you know what you could do? What? Put it in the box and then step on it. Put it in this. Yeah, put it in the paper, then put it in the box, then step right. on it. And you don't, you don't like Star Wars, right? 
Mm. I, I like some. I like the original uh, movies that oh. came out that you hate. Bad news. <laughs> All right, that's what this is. <laughs> I, I, I wish you wouldn't do that. That's, they're classic You already movies. wasted your wish, and unless Jim Henson shows up, your wishes are meaningless. Right now, if your first wish came true, and Jim was here and was like, hey, I, I don't know what happened, but here I am, then I would take you more seriously. But you have zero credibility. Your wishes mean nothing, David Krumholtz. Zero? You zero. know what that is? That's a num three-er. What do you... Uh, what do you think about me? Uh, uh, do you think I should? Stomp it? Stomp it. Yeah, go for it. And, and Martha, do you think? Do you think I should stomp on this? Watto? Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, David, uh, yeah. how's, how's Bernard doing? <laughs> you just saw him, right? You don't. Uh, you, t- you don't talk about any. You know. Don't. I don't want to uh, hear any spoilers. Uh, but yeah, yeah. There's. Uh, it's. Uh, uh yeah let let yeah let's yeah oh <laughs> wow wow <laughs> that was so easy why was that so easy <laughs> did it did it did it work or was that just the box that made that noise oh yeah no it's oh. broken <laughs> it's broken oh yeah you broke it Whoa. does anyone want it. We have some other. We should give away some other yeah. stuff too, really quick. Well, let's decide how and why. Yeah. Um, all right. Pull up the the box first. Let's see the no the little box. This little box. Yeah. We got Count Dooku Funko. Ooh. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dooku. <laughs> that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. That was the most passionate anyone has ever been about Count Dooku. And he said, nah, she's going to get it. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, oh, we have, let's see, yeah. Uh, bring to Noise always <laughs> makes shirts for me, including the one I'm wearing right now. But this is an extra one that she made because she didn't think it was going to get to me in time, and then it did get to me. So I have two of this one, and I wanted to give one away. I've never given away a shirt that she's made. It's a medium. Who's a medium and will wear a shirt that says Mr. Druthers? Right there. Right there. And then we're going to give one to the back. I saw you raising your hand back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no other shirts, just another prize. Oh, okay. Do you play the piano? Who, who? I have. Yeah. She has. <laughs> oh, this... This came, do you want yeah. this came directly from uh, the Walt Disney Studio lot in Los Angeles, California. It is a what is it, George? It's a collector's bag clip. Oh, is this a, a Marvel? It's, it's a Doctor Strange collector's yeah. bag clip, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. And 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 yeah, if, uh, you don't know what's in there until you open it. Yeah. But you don't want the person you're giving it to to open it. Why don't it? you hold your mic, George? We want to gauge how much Excitement and interest there is based on the character. Yeah, yeah. And we'll, than I, think we okay. I think we should all look at it. I think we should all look at it before anyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hide it. All right, right. Hide okay, it. Can yeah, we yeah, yeah. Let, let me fun. just let me tell people what the options are. Yeah. All right. Well, and let's, let's this. by cheers say how excited you are. For okay. Okay. Ready? Here are the options. Doctor Strange. <laughs> Not that much. Wow. <laughs> Now, this is where things get tricky. I don't know if you folks have been keeping up with the news, the current events, but there is currently a multiverse of madness. <laughs> so character number two, Defender Strange. Different character. <laughs> character number three, Supreme Strange. Different character. These are variations of the Doctor? In different universes. Character four, Scarlet Witch. <laughs> The Supreme is Strange got zero excitement. <laughs> He's the one without any facial hair. He looks like a, a fucking thumb. <laughs> Character five, Wong. Yeah, people like Wong. Good guy. Character six, Sarah. She's like one of the trainees 
and she gets like split card billing at the end and a lot of close-ups and you feel like she probably had a bigger part at some point. So not enough ladies in the movie and they're like, ah, we got yeah. Sarah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but good billing. I think she had dialogue at some point. <laughs> Character seven, America Chavez. <laughs> Character eight, Master Mordo. <laughs> Okay, now I, I assume you were holding your enthusiasm for character number nine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and gragas, please give it up for Dr. Christine Palmer! <laughs> She's a nurse played by Academy Award nominee Rachel McAdams. <laughs> And then there are two exclusive characters. One of them seems to be Rintran, who's like the green minotaur, mm. whose part I, I think also was mostly cut out. And then the, the character who's like the, the squid with the eyeball who isn't. Isn't uh, Gargant? Thank it's you. Yeah, Whatever. Okay. I'm going to open up Whatever. and we're going to look at them. We're not right. going to And to be clear, this is a clip for if you have a bag, you want to put a clip on it. <laughs> <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch kind of looks, he just doesn't have a head. It looks like a neck with a face on it. Shots fired. Shots fired, Benedict Cumberbatch. Holy fucking shit. This is exciting. Hold on. I, gotta... I got Mordo. Who did you get, Watto? I got oh. Supreme Strange, uh -huh. the one that no one shares. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Are we surprised? We're surprised by this. Am I oh. gonna recognize you? Okay. This? Yeah. Okay. That's a good one. A major, a major player, blockbuster character. <laughs> yeah. George finds it funny. I think it's a, not a bad one. No. No, I was just surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I was just surprised. <laughs> Who Let's here likes surprises? Can we, can we ask, because I see a lot of people in, in the house tonight, uh, astoundingly, <laughs> are, are wearing some sort of George Lucas oh, talk show good. paraphernalia. Stand is, up. Is there anyone, yeah, anyone who's wearing anything connected to George Lucas talk show specifically, stand up. There's a lot of you, get up. And in particular, wow. if there's anyone who could lay oh, yeah. claim that they are cosplaying, <laughs> raise your hand uh, in addition. Yeah, no, uh, actually, we do up. have one. We do have one. Wait. And I saw this guy at the bar and I said, what the fuck? I... <laughs> Wait, are you, your dress is Patrick? Yeah. Jesus yeah. fucking Christ. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I grabbed him and spun him around because I saw his shirt and I said, that, you, what? You can't. I was scared. He was scared. Yeah. Uh, how long did it take for you to put this together? Um... About like five minutes. Yeah. Well, with, with shipping and handling for this on eBay, a few days. Um, All right, so several days and then a few minutes. Yeah, yeah exactly. All right, How much was the jersey? I, w I want to say like fifty dollars. Okay. Probably. Great. Yeah. Is right. Patrick your favorite character on the show? Is it the everyone's? Wow! Ooh. Wow! I like navigate stacking too. I get it. It's like a. I mean, we'll we might try one month seeing what a one person show is, and we'll just see how that goes. Yeah. Do you have a bag? I, I, I hope you enjoy Patrick about me. <laughs> Not on me, but I do carry one frequently. You own a bag? <laughs> I do own at least one. Yeah. All right. I want you to look in here. <laughs> no freaking way. <laughs> What's your name again? Lucas. Was that a... Whoa! Wait, what? <laughs> you were sitting on that? I didn't even put it together, but yeah. <laughs> I get a lot of, like, Luke, I'm your father stuff, too. Yeah, yeah. You, but just now you're making the connection. Well, I don't know. Wado, he doesn't it, care about you at here, all. Yeah. I'm a little starstruck, you know. Yeah. So. We're gonna find out you're a Toydarian or something, right? Uh, only ha half. Not on my mother's side though, so it doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't count. It doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't count. Can we uh, can we ask middle and last name? Are you willing to dox yourself? Yeah. Um. First name Lucas. Okay. Uh, my middle name is Blue Wolf. Is, I'm sorry. Is what? that real? I'm sorry. Blue Wolf? Yeah. Wait, is that real? Get out your license. Yeah, your driver's yeah. license. Yeah. 
<laughs> what? Yeah. And then last name Solon. It's like colon, but with an S. But also like Solo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Solo. Yeah, it's like, don't, it's like Solo with an N. That's how you're going to say it from now on. All right, guys. It's I... like colon with an S. George. One of the coolest characters, one of the most charismatic characters in the history of cinema, and you're one letter off. But you're going with butthole. I mean, <laughs> George, yeah. I almost want you to take it back. This is almost too much. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to choose to interpret Blue Wolf as a Wolfman Watto reference. Absolutely, absolutely. I think I've earned that. Ooh. Tell the crowd as you reveal it which bad clip you have. I have America Chavez. Yeah, yeah there we go. Fantastic. There we go. Fantastic. That was insane. Yeah. You couldn't I write that. Yeah, I felt I, I started to feel weird during it. Like, did we script this and nobody told me? <laughs> yeah. Well, we have a few other things to give away. Um, I just got some stuff from the ranch, just clearing out. Um, it's funny because sometimes George comes to shows and he brings things trying to clear out space in the ranch. And for a guy who's worth billions of dollars and owns a literal fucking ranch, you'd be like, you're not short on space. The, the urgency with which you need to get rid of things feels like someone who lives in a one-bedroom apartment in Astoria. Yeah. Uh, who, here, who here has a, a DVD or a Blu-ray player they play movies on? Right. You put, you put both, uh, both hands up for several things, so I'm going to bring you over some yeah. physical media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Saludos Amigos, The Three Caballeros, and Kids in Hall Brain Candy. <laughs> the wow. big three. Wow. When you, think, when you think of American cinema, those are the three that come to mind. Those are the big three. Did you upgrade to Blu-ray on those two? Of course I did. Of course I got you them did. in 4K, man. <laughs> Can we also acknowledge this table over here as a couple special guests sitting on the table? That's right. Yeah, well, Who we got we, here? We got, uh, is that OB? OB it's OB movie, movie one Kenobi, Kenobi movie. movie. He is a combination of Obi-Wan Kenobi and Barry B. Benson from Jerry Seinfeld's Baby B movie. Yeah. And this then is that, what is that, a goo? That's a goo. That's a goo. That's a goo. If I know anything, I know that's a goo. I know a goo when I see one. All right. How long do we have left in the show? I, I don't know. Uh, Max, how long do we have left? What's the time here? I don't know. Three more hours? Yeah, I need, I need what time. do we Give suppose? Me a time. How do we fill that time? What's the? We never bother to ask anyone how long our show is. Yeah. All right, we'll start wrapping up. We'll start wrapping. We'll start up. wrapping up. Uh, does anyone? No, we have to. We have to. We have to. We have to. Uh, who here? Owns we have a, to, because Katsis has a delivery minimum of forty-five. So I just got to get there in person. Forty-five. I know. Wow. That feels no. Keep talking. Who <laughs> here? Who here owns a record player? <laughs> but does not own a copy of the George Lucas talk show. And who like really wants, who's, who's raising their hand because they're like, I got a record player. Like who really is like, oh, I'm mad I didn't get this. I think we go. Okay, wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second, like wait a second, wait a second. Wait, yeah, 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 oh. yeah. I have an idea for a game. Yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is it? Can we get three candidates on stage yeah. and see who can guess the most tracks on the <laughs> album. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Right? That's a good Does one. Does anyone think they could do that? Who thinks they could do that? That's tough, Watto. It's a tough one. That's why you, it's a good burn. Listen, it sounds like you got one, you got more than anybody else. I mean, look, it, there's no competition. Uh, come here, you're the, you're the one so far. And listen, if nobody else gets it, listen. Oh, oh, you're trapped by the, the actual yeah, video tape. Okay. Because right now, just be broad, be generic. <laughs> Something plays at the top of every show. And by the way, if you name like one track, two tracks, and no one challenges you, it's yours. But also, try to guess as many as you can for the sake of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Crawley? I... I mean, yeah. Yeah, liner notes, bye. <laughs> Rachel. Rachel's got something. That's right. What's she singing? Ooh. A song. <laughs> yeah. I mean, three for three. <laughs> You're doing really well. 
appreciate you being on a first name basis with Rachel Zegler, by the way. Of course, anytime. Just make something up. Galactic. Oh, I don't no, think so. No, not at all. <laughs> but you've done more than anyone else here yeah. has earned a copy of this. I see one other hand raised right here. I see towards... one other hand, and they're over in the Patrick's in the butt section. section. Yeah. So that's the other copy that we have. Look at that. You didn't even have to do anything. Yeah. Uh, who, wants to, who wants the Beatles past masters? Pass it back till someone takes these. Just, just get rid of them. All right. Uh, let me ask you a question. Is everyone having a good summer? Yeah. So one thing we haven't talked about, we're right here, we're right in the middle of summer. The hot, only thing we have not hit. Hot yet. Vac Summer 2. <laughs> hot Vac Summer 2, the sequel. How's it compare to the first one? Is everyone having an okay time or is it a rough summer? Uh, no, I'm, I'm having a nice summer. Yeah. I went to uh, St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. That was nice. Uh, yeah. and, uh, and, uh, yeah. and, and now I'm, I'm, I'm working steadily in the city every day, and it's you're, nice. You're, you're we, rehearsing a, a Broadway sure. play. I'm doing a Broadway play. You're treading the boards the great white way. Yeah. And I, you're the lead, right? You're the big boy in this play. Wow, you're the it's number an one guy over here. Cast. And, Tom Stopper, a fine writer. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's, work, yeah. he's done a little work for me. He's he done did a little punch work. up right. like Attack of the Clones. Uh, oh, really? The hat was his idea. Ah. Yeah, he worked with my buddy Steve on Empire of the Sun. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good when, writer, good words. And that yeah. starts soon. When does that start? September? Se Mid September, I yes. I know. I'm on top of this stuff, David. September 14th. What, uh, it's called Leopoldstadt. Leopoldstadt. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. We got some stodders in there. We house. got some stodders in the butt section. That's right. <laughs> yeah. These are Tom Stoppard fans. These are fans of legitimate theater. How dare you How call dare. them the butt section <laughs> just because they were unfortunate enough to have their view obstructed by your hindquarters. Patrick, sometimes... New I'm Yorkers pay top dollar to watch the finest actors recite the finest words and not watch you toot around on a computer. I almost called them the buttheads. This isn't Paramount Plus. You're Clean. not the top of mountain right now. Clean it up. I'm so sorry for the way the tone of the show has been I'm so once sorry. again lowered. Marcelina, I'm so sorry. You're forgiven. I'm sorry about a couple things I said here tonight, too. No. <laughs> but there you are, counting them up again. <laughs> you try to dress it up, but this guy cannot get out of character. One, two, three. Ha, 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 ha. Yes. Did it ruin math for you, that show? Because like any, because you have to use math all the time, as the uh. show proved. But now you're like... The show isn't being made anymore, and you can keep, keep having to do math in your day-to-day -day life. Leaving a tip. Oh, fuck, uh, why do I gotta... Uh, Going to the ATM and ask you how much you want, and then what, what denominations of bills do you want? You're like, am I on CBS or I'm, or I'm at TD Bank? What am I? Oh, geez, CBS man. or TDB? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's not but, even a joke, really. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, no, it didn't ruin. Uh, how does. It's. No. You okay. love it. You love That's it. That's a good answer. I don't love math. I, it's math. You, you know, you. Can I, can I say this? Yeah. In middle school, my math teacher was very old and ready to retire. Oh. And a lot of days he would bring in, he would wheel in the TV. Yeah. I'm, and I'm, this is genuinely true. We'd probably watch numbers one to two days a week. <laughs> he was ready to go. I and was, was I was so um, I had hair and I was skinny on that show. <laughs> so when you bring it up, you remind people of that. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, miring them in the current reality, which I'm large and charge and bald, balding. Hey, and lighting up Broadway. You. That's right, baby. That's right. Wado in Thumbs when Wado meets Thumb Stoppard. <laughs> but I'm Wado gonna... Stoppard wrote a lot of Wado's dialogue. <laughs> he got very. This handy. sounds like a bit, but this is real. Like Tom Stoppard wrote a Punch Up on Attack of the Clones. This is very real. Wow. <laughs> and as far as looking back at at the, 
you know, I feel the same way. On Light and Magic, the new Disney Plus series, you see yeah. me at all these different phases. You mm -hmm. see me when I was a young Turk starting out, just like getting started changing cinema. Then you see me as a middle-aged man, once again, changing cinema. Right. And then you see me, you know, as I am now, and I'm talking about how I don't know how to work my phone, I don't know how to work the computer, mm. but it doesn't matter because I keep changing cinema. Right, right, right. You know? And whether I'm, you know, this young kid starting out or whether I'm the silver fox that I've turned out to be, it's all part of life's rich tapestry. Yeah. <laughs> My my, I, my face has practically been sewn into the great American pop culture quilt. This is true. We're talking pop. Amen to that. I mean, I'd say we have the quilt right here on the stage right now. It's three big ones. Mount Rushmore. No need for a fourth spot. The history of cinema live on stage. In front of you all, and also Patrick. Well, I think we've made some mirth here tonight. We made a little mirth. A little bit of mirth. A little it's bit of mirth. mirth. And we have. Yup, nub. And Patrick, do you want to plug those posters? Or I do. Yeah. After the show, we're going to be signing uh, posters. Very cool posters that Forrest uh, Phillips drew. Um, so we're, are we, we're actually going to be signing them here, but you can pick them up over there. Uh, oh, Patrick, them. you couldn't have made this more complicated. I don't want to carry them home tonight. So. Uh, that's not a good selling point. No one selling. cares what you have to carry home tonight, Patrick. Patrick, it's a better sell if you tell them how much work you're going to do later. Yeah. Like, Patrick, you, like, earn it, you know? Oh. I want to explain oh. to you, Patrick, that not everybody, not everybody in this audience is your mommy and daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Two wow. of them are. That, I know. Two of them are. Two of them are. Would you say that two of them is everybody? No. I mean, we're in a real numb three years moment right now. Look at us. Not everyone in this audience is Lucas Blue Wolf Solon. Not everyone is <laughs> naturally, inexplicably on your side. But if you'd like a poster, you can get them in one part of the room mm -hmm. and then carry them to another yeah. part of the room where we'll sign them. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming out. It's been a wonderful homecoming. Thank you to our beautiful guests for coming to the show. Thank you for the people watching on stream. Uh, you can check out our past episodes on our YouTube channel. And may the force be with you, always. Uh,